Hello, I'm Dr. Daryl Rich with Core Chiropractic and Wellness in downtown Roanoke. Well, we've been talking this week in the office about multivitamins and uh, really asking the question, are they worth it? Is it something that you really need? And uh, my answer is, yeah, you probably do. You know, there's been a lot of studies the last few years that have looked at uh, the amount of uh, kind of nutrients that we take into our body and the deficiencies that most Americans have. And believe it or not, about 80% of Americans are shown to be deficient in over 21 of the essential micronutrients that our body needs every day. You know, there's a couple of reasons for this. Uh, you know, the number one is just our foods are just not as nutrient packed as they have been in the years past. Uh, even for all of us who, you know, if you're like me, you kind of know that you just can't really eat out of a box or out of a wrapper or from a fast food uh, window and stay very healthy. You maybe make your own food uh, frequently or maybe you have a garden and try to raise as much as your own food as possible. But even those people often are very deficient. Uh, and another reason for that is because a lot of people take medications that really rob us of nutrients that we should be absorbing. You know, things like acid blockers and antidepressant medications and blood, pre blood pressure medications really will uh, kind of prevent or will you know, pull out a lot of the nutrients that are in our uh, blood and in our body and be make us become very deficient. And so many people who are on these medications become very deficient over time. And it's something that we really probably have to supplement into our body uh, to really make sure that we're at an optimal level. The problem is, is that when you go to the grocery store and you start looking down the aisle of all the different uh, vitamins that are available and all the shelves that are packed with different variations and things that range from maybe an $8 multivitamin to a $60 multivitamin, again, you start asking the question of how do I even know which one uh, is a good one to take and you know, is it really necessary to go real expensive? And of course, the answer to that is no, you don't need to have a real expensive uh, multivitamin, but I would say the $8 one probably isn't going to cut it either. So there's a couple of things that I want you to look at on your multivitamin to see if it is a good one or not. Okay. The first thing is that it needs to be a whole food multivitamin. You don't want a synthetic multivitamin. These are very common. Again, these are typically the cheaper versions that we see at some of the big box stores um, or some of the uh, pharmacies that were, you know, just stop and grab something. Uh, not a really good idea to get your multivitamin from those places, unfortunately. Uh, often what you'll look for in those uh, multivitamins, too, is they're missing is a good B complex. Every good quality multi, uh, multivitamin should have many, if not all, of the B vitamins and in a good amount as well. Uh, the third thing is, is you can do a little test, is look at where they source their calcium from. So calcium carbonate, which is also chalk, by the way, is what is found in most of the really cheap multivitamins. And rest assured that if they're putting that in, basically making their calcium supplement be chalk, which your body can't absorb at all, then you kind of know that the rest of the product is pretty garbage. So make sure it's not calcium carbonate. Make sure they're using a different uh, form or a different source of their calcium. Another thing is, is look at the kind of what the, uh, the pill itself is actually coated in. If it has kind of a petroleum or a almost like a plastic feel to it, it's probably not a multivitamin that your body will be able to break down and absorb very well. There's a nice little test for that if you want to try it. And that is to drip, uh, just put it in a little bowl of white vinegar for anywhere between seven to 10 minutes. That multivitamin should start to break down. It may not break down and dissolve completely, but it should at least break apart. And you can rest assured that in your stomach, which is a lot higher uh, of an acid level, and uh, that it will be absorbed pretty easily. But if that pill is just sitting there like it uh, kind of looked like you just took it out of the bottle, there's a good chance that that pill will never be absorbed. In fact, sometimes we even see those things on x-ray. You actually can look and see it in somebody's colon. It's just sitting there like a rock because it is. It's pretty much just a, a rock sitting there. And your body doesn't have a chance of absorbing that. So look for those few things in a multivitamin. That should help you kind of get a good one. If you want to stop by the office uh, this week, we actually have our multivitamins on sale. So we'll help you out and show you that one as well. Um, if you like this uh, video and you want some other kind of tips on how to stay healthy, feel free to stop by our, our website at coreroanoke.com and you'll see some of the other videos that we have uh, listed there. Now, of course, you can also like us on Facebook and Instagram and you'll get all sorts of updates, uh, not just uh, you know, our articles we write, or, uh, but we'll also show on there a lot of other different things that are going on in the office at the time and in every way that we can to help you stay healthy. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Take care.